YouTube I device help here in this video I want to share with you guys a cool theme I found in Cydia that is for Dreamboard. It's called OS 10 Pad HD. Now this theme is very nice, very well built and high quality. Now of course you must be jailbroken in order to theme your iOS devices. If you don't know how to jailbreak, like I always say, make sure you check out my YouTube channel for more details on how to jailbreak your iOS device. So in this video I'm gonna be sharing this uh theme. But uh, once again, it goes by the name of OS 10 Pad HD, and it's a high quality Dreamboard theme. If you guys don't know what Dreamboard is, I know most of you guys do, but for those that don't, it's a theming application that you find uh, in Cydia for the iOS devices. Now, this theme is very complete. It's very nice. It, re it really gives you the feel of the Mac computer on your tablet. Now, when Apple first released the iPad, everybody thought that Apple was going to go head with the computer operating system for the iPad instead of the mobile operating system and Apple went with the mobile instead of the computer and everybody thought well what would have been like if Apple would have went with the regular standard computer OS 10 uh, operating system for their tablets well this thing gives you the feel of what it would have been like and gives you the experience of the whole OX this is how great this theme is built the high quality and, and, and uh, built of this theme so right here on the lock screen the first thing you get is you get up here the mail message FaceTime Facebook and Twitter and you also get uh, you know, an image of your user uh, enter for your user picture. You also get a sleep button, a restart, and a shutdown. Everything is functional on the lock screen. Uh, there's like three things you need to install in order to get the theme properly working for you, but I'll have all those in the video description down below, so make sure you read the description. Once you uh, install the theme, it'll take you to a setup process like a, like a Mac computer would. So it's a very well-built uh, theme, like I said. And uh, once you get to the home screen, you hold, go ahead and tap there. Or once you get to the lock screen, and it takes you to the beautiful built OS. Now as you can see everything is high quality built. Right here you get your applications folder if you're familiar with the Mac operating system just like you would on the Mac. You can go ahead and hit this gear here and uh, go ahead you can go ahead and edit your folder, add new applications to that folder and customize it to your likings. Also the settings, everything down in the, in the dock works. You get your settings which you can go to your iPad settings like your normal uh, settings on the iPad. You can also go to the theme settings and also icon or dock uh, icon settings. Up here on the Apple logo, everything works as well. You can go ahead and get your uh, software updates, your app store, your uh, uh, system preferences, dock preferences like you would on a Mac as you can see. Everything just works. Up here you even have the time and weather. I don't know if you guys can really depict that. I can see the weather here live and everything just looks very beautiful. Everything just works. If you go here into the preferences, you can go ahead and open up, you know, like I said, the App Store, or you can go ahead and uh, open your preferences like you would on a Mac. There it is. You can go ahead and change the icons around, even the wallpaper, one click, you can change the wallpaper around with no problem. It's very simple to do, just like you would on a Mac computer, and it really gives you the feel of the Mac OS uh, operating system on your tablet. You can go ahead and hit back. As you can see, you also have all these uh, other settings, folders. You can add folders. You can customize your dock. If you look at my dock down here, I have Finder, Safari, Mail, all the native applications that you will find on a Mac. I'm going to go ahead here and select Safari. And if I want to change that Safari icon to uh, a new browser, say Google Chrome here on my options, as you can see right there, I just changed it to Google Chrome. Once again, everything is functional. Everything just works. And uh, let me go ahead and change that back to Safari. Right there, and there you go. You can go ahead and customize it to your liking. Once again, guys, it has uh, way too many things for me to cover all at once in this particular video, but it just gives you a feel of what the theme uh, feels like and looks. You can even move the windows around like so, and it feels very smooth. The theme has no problem uh, doing what you want it to do. You can go ahead, also, if you have a wireless keyboard, you can go ahead and also... Uh, Bluetooth connected to your to your uh, tablet and it works like it like it would as you can see there I'm typing and uh, everything just works you can go ahead and use the uh, the keyboard as well which gives you more of the feel of the uh, operating system itself so um, you can go ahead also and uh, add this new tweak that I like to add myself it's a, I, uh, if you go here into settings and let's go to iPad settings and down here I downloaded this tweak called mission board and right here where it says uh, activation method, I selected the triple click home button. And also if you triple click the home button with this tweak install, it gives you a feel of the, uh, I think it's uh, launch pad 
on the Mac operating system, the computer operating system that is. It gives you a brand new interface and it just goes along with the theme I think and it makes it look even better and adds more functionalities. Again, you might need a few things to add in order to get this theme working properly. I'll have all the things I have added on the video description down below so you guys can go ahead and install them for yourself and try this theme. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you liked it, please thumbs up. Make sure you click that like button, guys. It helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus, and make sure you stay up to date with the latest information on everything iOS devices by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. And also leave a comment down below of what you think of this theme and what you think if Apple should have went with the computer operating system for their tablets or their mobile operating system tablets. I really want to know what you guys have to say. Uh, it's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace!